So now we're going to go into the power budget and profiling. So the lab is given here, and you'll go through it. Um, but I do want to go through the template of the power budget. Okay. So there are many different tabs in the power budget. The first tab, zero, was something that I made to give you a broad stroke uh, view of how power is currently distributed in the baseline kit. So per subsystem, what is the amount of power that um, is going to that particular power subsystem as a percentage of the total power budget. This is something you can work off of. Um, I already described earlier on in the power introduction lecture that this is a different distribution than larger spacecraft subsystems where we see a lot of power usage from the OVC. Um, and not as much from the ADCS. So this is just FYI. It's like a good high level overview. For things that you actually want to change, you will go to uh, tab one. So subsystem. The idea behind this power budget is that if you have, um, you have all of these different modes and you have all of these different components, so you definitely want to pin down what your components are, and then you need to think about in each one of these modes, which components are on and which components are off. These modes kind of imply that you've already thought about your mission operations. So for a baseline mission, um, we think that you'll have a startup. We think that you'll also have to restart that you'll collect data, process data, transmit and receive data. And then we have nominal operations where there's not really stuff happening, um, but nothing is also going wrong. And then we have these off nominal or emergency modes. So once you have these modes defined and these uh, components defined, then you can, in your mind, think about in this mode, which components are on and off. Once you know that binary decision, then you can figure out how much power precisely is being generated or consumed in this mode. Um, so you can edit this sheet. You can edit this sheet as well. Uh, make sure you make a copy and put it in your team drive though. We don't want to edit the template. So yeah, um, in this sheet, you are diving deep into how much precisely wattage is being consumed or generated per mode. And then you can get this nifty plot of the power consumption per mode. Uh, it'll give you an idea of which modes are the most power intensive. Um, but note that this doesn't yet define how much time you spend in each mode. That's going to be in a different plot. OK, so this goes one step beyond just the power by mode by incorporating the time spent per mode. So you have the modes here, and you have the time. In orbit is about 90 minutes. Um, so within this orbit, you need to come up with the sequence of the different modes that you're going to transition through for your satellite operations. And you're also going to think about how much time you linger in each mode. So in this case, uh, you deploy and then you start generating power. 
And then you initiate a pointing sequence, collect data for a minute. Uh, you're receiving that data, processing it, and then you're transmitting it through a ground station pass. And these modes are going to be determined by the, say you can use STK data for this definition of modes and the time spent in modes. For the SDK report, you'll get information about how long each ground pass is, um, whether it be like six minutes or 10 minutes. Um, you'll figure out how much time you'll be in the sunlight. So that'll determine how long the power generation mode will last. Um, and then later on in the ADCS, you're also going to figure out how long it takes for you to point when it comes to that first orbit to like reorient yourself, but also how much time you need to point to compensate for whatever angular momentum, unwanted angular momentum you've accumulated per orbit. So yeah, this is kind of like a, a layout of not only your operational modes in time, but then this other column, you're going to use the data from this power by mode to input how much total power each, uh, each mode is going to consume for that minute. So that's up to this lab. In the latter half of the semester, we're going to use STK to extract the amount of power generated by the solar panels on your satellite through STK. Cool. Um, the other tabs you can explore. This one, it seems like the orbit number is uh, defined for you. And then the battery charge. So the amount of energy that's stored within your battery is getting kept track of so that you make sure that um, your energy storage always stays above a certain amount of watt hours that you are charging just as much as you are discharging. So you can see here it stays pretty steady, always returns back to 29.6 watt hours. Yeah. So go through the power budget. Um, one day we'll get to STK data. Okay. So I think I'm done with my spiel about the power budget and I'll stop the recording and you can ask me any questions.